Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I am a senior 3D artist. In this particular quick tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a further look at some of the shortcuts within Photoshop, the ones you're more likely to use. Uh, there are a ton of them, as there are usually a ton in pretty much every program, but we'll try to focus on ones that uh, are going to come in handy for when we're working on something. This is an old sketch of a creature that I actually modeled out in 3D, but I thought it'd be fun to work with this to at least add something in the viewport uh, on the, the canvas, which is this area. So, uh, otherwise, it might have gotten a little bit boring for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and just start with layers. Let's go ahead and create a couple of layers. It's three layers. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select a new color. Oops, and we're in grayscale. Let's go image, mode, RGB. And no, we're not going to flatten anything. There we go. So we've got that. We'll grab another color. We'll just do blue. And we'll. I'm just going to scale the brush up using my brackets key. And we've got another color. And let's go for green. There we go. And another color. All right. And obviously, we're not going to use this, but for, for this purposes, what I'll do is I'm going to hold my shift down, grab all three. Okay, it's really simple. And then hit Control G. That creates a group that will actually be what will have these particular layers in there. See that? All three groups. So it means when I create a new layer, this layer technically resides outside of this particular group. I can also rearrange the position of any of these layers. Let me create another one by just left click, dragging, and moving it up. Left click, drag, move it up. If I want this particular layer in this group, I just have to left click, drag, and drop. If I use this little arrow key, you can see all the layers are there. Okay, Pretty, pretty quick, pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and use the lasso tool. If you click and hold, you can get the lasso tool. I'm going to just grab a section here. I'm going to hit Control C and Control V to paste. Okay. I'm then going to hit Control T. That's my uh, that that's the quick shortcut for free transformation. That means I can scale it, or I can scale it this way, Control Z, or I can actually rotate it on the fly. Okay, So that can kind of come in handy for a number of different things. Uh, but it's great to be able to use that as is. And then just hit enter once you're done. Well, let's go do that again. Control T. We'll go ahead and do a quick rotation and then enter seals the deal. So now it's uh, slanted. Okay. Go ahead and just Click on that and hit delete. We don't need that there anymore. Uh, by the way, to merge layers, let's say we've got you know, three different layers or something. To layer seven to, to six, it's control E. That merges it, right? To six to five, control E. Uh, and, and it roars, uh, merges it right down. Let's say we have all these layers here. I don't want the background merged, but I do want everything else merged. It's Control Shift E. Okay, all of that went down to one layer. Okay, so if you had a bunch of artwork on, on these other layers, you could instantly merge them down. Uh, not a problem. Now, the fun thing about that, I can hit a Control. Well, let's just add on, on a couple more. Let's just add a couple more in. What we can do with this, in fact, let's, let's do it so you guys can see this. I'm going to go ahead and just add some color there. I'm going to Add some color here. We're just going to do this so it's you guys can see what I'm going to be doing. All right. Let's just get rid of 12. We don't need it right now. I can actually grab these layers and do a Control Alt Shift E. Okay. What that did is if I turn off all of these layers, you can see it actually created a layer that has everything. Everything that was visible got merged into one layer. We didn't lose any of our other layers. 
it just took a basically a snapshot of all of these, merged them down, and then created a new layer for us. And that actually comes in handier than you might think. Uh, we'll go ahead and just delete that. We don't need that right there. But again, so we have four different uh, layers. Let's just do that again just for fun. Control-Shift-Alt. Oops, Control-Shift-Alt-E. And there you go. Okay, so it's all the different layers in one merged. So that could come in handy for something. I don't know for what, but I've actually used that for a couple different things. I had uh, one where I was, had, I think, like almost uh, 50 layers of artwork, and I needed just a quick, you know, merge everything down in one layer, but I didn't want to lose the other layers I already have. So Control, control Shift, Alt, E was the perfect way to do that. Okay. Another thing, just while you're working with this, let's go ahead and grab our lasso tool again. We're going to do Control C. So we've got that copied, but you see that this has been selected, so it's active, okay? And and while it's active, you know how do you de how do you make it non-active? Just Control D. Control D uh, deselects whatever you've got, okay? I can still go ahead and hit Control V because you know we we had that there, and I can hit Control I to invert that, say, all right. Just go ahead and trash that. Again, you could I could have just deleted the actual layer just by hitting the delete key. Also, a really handy, handy feature in uh, Photoshop is the Shift-Alt right-click, which brings up the heads-up display color picker. See this? I'm just left-clicking and holding this so I can go to any of the colors in here. And then I haven't lifted my left, uh, my I'm sorry, my right mouse, my right mouse. This is Shift Alt right click, and I can go ahead and just grab any one of these. I haven't lifted my right clicker at all. I'm just now scrolling through it. Let's say we do that, and then just go up to there, and then say yes. Just change that color. I'll go ahead and switch that by hitting X, and again, Shift Alt right click, and now let's change this to that color. There you go. You can now paint with that color. All right, that's the oops. That's the heads-up display. I didn't want to be actually painting on the background, but that's the the HUD color picker or the heads-up display color picker comes in handy. By the way, one of the really fun things to do when you're when you're painting, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these layers and create a new one. One of the the fun things you can do. Oh, and by the way, to to get this back to black and white, just hit D. Sure, I can tr just drag and left click and just I'm just painting a, a line in any way I want. And obviously, because this has a particular blur on it right up here, you can see the blur right here, it's going to be a little bit fuzzy. Okay, I'm going to do Control A to select all, Control H to hide the marquee, and then just delete that. Let's change our brush size really quickly to something a little bit harder. There we go. Okay, as you can see now, it's a whole lot harder, but it's a little bit stepped. That's because we want to make sure we drag the flow back up. There we go. We're back up to 100%. All right. The nice thing what you can do is as you're drawing, if let's all of a sudden you need to make a straight line, just hold your shift down and you can draw a straight line down. You can go around and then straight line. So if you needed to draw straight lines, this is the way that you can do it. Just hold you start it, hold your shift, and then drag. Start it, hold shift, drag. So you can make really nice straight lines, 90 degree perpendiculars as you need to. Just hold just start the drawing and then hold your shift down. Square square straight out. Okay? Makes it nice and simple. And the last thing I'll show you is one thing sometimes as you're working in Photoshop, uh, you're not getting all the real estate you need to for for your views so one of the nice things to to take care of that is you can hit your tab and that actually clears out all of our our tabs doesn't mean we've changed anything I can still paint as I need to but tab is really great so I've got none of that on the side here sometimes so, sometimes the sides are a little bit busy and I know there are some artists that that don't like to see that stuff they like to work with the 
where the whole space is just the canvas. And that's one of the ways to do it. You can do a control plus and then use the space bar to move this around or hit the tab back and it'll go back to the way it was, okay? But uh, that was some really quick essential Photoshop shortcuts. I use them a lot while I'm working. Uh, this and the other uh, essential Photoshop uh, shortcuts are, are most of the ones I use when I'm working. They come in handy and anything that allows you to go quicker is a good thing. Anyway, my name has been Stephen G. Wells and this has been 3dmotive.com and hope you guys have enjoyed this. Take care.